right, 2011, and so on. Well, uh, going back to Jeremiah 25, 12, and it came to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon. And we've learned that the king of Babylon is Satan, is Satan. He had been appointed to rule the, over the churches in the world during this final uh, 70 years, or the 8,400 days, actually, uh, the 23 years, which was typified by the 70 years uh, of, uh, of Judah's day. And then he's going to punish the king of Babylon, and that nation saith Jehovah. And by that time, the churches have all become the country of Babylon because he is the ruler there, and so it includes them. And the land of the Chaldees will make it, and will make it perpetual desolation. In other words, it will it will be a punishment that is going to annihilate them, and uh, and. Uh, uh, we we get down, for example, in uh, uh, verse 15, For thus saith Jehovah God of Israel unto me, Take the wine cup of this fury at my hand, and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. And all the nations are the entire world, and they shall drink and be moved and be mad. That is, they will be completely out of their mind because of the sword that I will send among them. And uh, and uh, then it begins to name the nations, starting with eight, verse eighteen. Jerusalem, those are the churches, the nation, and the nation of Israel. Jerusalem, and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof, they are are coming under the wrath of God. And then it goes on and names nation after nation, and uh, and finally it gets in verse twenty six. All the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and all the kingdoms of the world, which are upon the face of the earth. You see, this is Judgment Day. It, it affects everybody, every uh, kingdom of the world, uh, which are upon the face of the earth. And the king of Shishak, Shishak is another name for Babylon, shall drink after them. Satan also is going to be destroyed in the day of judgment. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel, Drink ye, and be drunken, and vomit, and fall, and rise no more, because of the sword which I will send among you. Remember what we read in Ezekiel, that when the true believers see the sword coming, they are to warn. And that's, that sword is used as a synonym for judgment day. And then it says, uh, and then God proves that it all begins with the churches. If shall be, verse 28, if they refuse to take the cup of thine hand to drink, then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city, which is called by my name. What is the city that is called by the name of God? The churches and the and the nation of Israel, they, they are, uh, have names that uh, they are identified externally with the kingdom of God. And God begins there. Be and that's why, that's why uh, uh, we read in Second Peter, that, or First Peter chapter 4, that judgment begins with the house of God. Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. For I begin to bring evil on the city which is called my name, and should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. 